All right, guys, welcome. Today I'm going to cook uh, some burgers and a green onion pancake. And I'm going to do uh, the best I can with the tools that I've got. And I've got to do them together because I am short on time. So when you open up one of these packs, what you'll see is they have this sort of cellophane um, thing on the top. And sometimes they will have this piece of paper as you can see here, I mean, sometimes they don't, which is which is odd. I noticed that some packs will have those on, and some sometimes there will be just one on them. So that's something interesting. That's unexpected. Anyway, at the same time, I will be cooking one of these really good green onion pancakes that looks like this when it comes out. Of the packaging. And as I run around doing all this stuff, I turn on the fire, dump a bunch of oil in there. And when you cook on the fly, you don't always do things the same way that you would. This is not the correct way to do it or whatever, but it works for me. It works for me and it saves on time saves a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to switch the two. I'm going to switch the two here so this way you guys can see both of them being done at the same time. And it makes it a little bit easier to flip the pancakes. There we go. This is a better view of everything that's going on there. But yeah, anyway, sometimes you just gotta make do. So I'm not, it's not like I'm a real cook or anything. I just put something together. Just put something together for the fans and the family. Wow. Well, the family works. Well, the family gets on with Zoom classes. We'll just get some food ready on the fly. Alright, so then what else do I got today? What else do I have today? I've got this really good kimchi and I'm going to try it and I think it might work very well uh, with, let me see, camera is not doing a great job of focusing. There we go, focus. Yeah, really good kimchi and this one has cucumbers in it. What else am I going to try? I'm going to have some of this really good organic hummus from Costco. I love Costco. And some of this really yummy mustard from Whole Foods. And let's turn the fire down a little bit on the other one. We don't want it to go nuts on the video again. There we go, let's go back and focus a little bit better. This pancake is doing pretty well, but I don't want it to stick to the bottom. Don't want it to stick to the bottom. It's going to be hard to flip on this tiny little pan. There we go, done. Trying not to burn everything. I think it's the pan that's burning. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the pans that don't have the anti-stick. But you know, you do you do what you can with what you got. This is what I have. Now since this came out of the freezer and it's frozen, I'm going to be turning that a lot. To make sure it cooks through all the way through. Let's see, so mustard, yes, check. Hummus, check. And 
I may add some extra kimchi because I mean, this stuff is really good from Zayamat. Not too shabby. Still hasn't stuck to the bottom, which is great. I'm trying to go for the golden brown. Effect. Usually I use the other pan. I use this pan. This pan is good. This pan I don't like so much because it's not anti-stick. Trying to get too upset about it. I switch these over. Let's play magical tricks with food. Why not? Why not? Because it can be fun. Stick pans. It's, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Could be better. Could be better. Yeah. Starting to get that nice little crust on it on the outside. But not being that it isn't an anti-stick pan, I'm gonna have a lot of cleanup today on this thing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. It's getting a little bit too long for uploads.